some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in southern Australia with a softard who was pulled over for no plates on his vehicle, and it turns out that he's also driving on a suspended license. And we hear all those favorite songs that uh, softards like to use, such as Black Law's Dictionary, Misunderstanding the Law, and Twisting Words to Form Your Own Narrative. You can find all that and much more throughout the video. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. How you going? Good, thank you. Yourself? All right. Can you please tell me your name and your yep. bad number and you're from which police station we're coming from? Yes, my name's Sergeant Mark Foster. My yeah. identification number is 4677. Okay. And I'm from the Kadena Police Station. Okay. Can you please move your car a little bit further, your automobile, because it's near, it's very dangerous where you park. I don't think I'm allowed to park like this. No, well, I have an exemption under the Australian road rules as to how I park. You can so park wherever you want? Yes. You don't have laws? You don't have laws? I'm exempt from the laws. Really? Yes. Okay. Now, I'll... Well, you're just butthurt at the fact that they caught you driving without a license or a plate on your car. In fact, speaking of all that, it seems that you think you're above the law for doing all that anyway, so isn't that a bit hypocritical? As in, people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones if you get my drift? Uh, uh, can you put your camera recording, please? Can you put your camera in? It is. Okay, that's very good. You are above the law, you said, okay? Exempt from the law, okay. Good. Good to know that. Um, you, you, however, are not. Um, I've got so what? We can resolve this matter today if you are able to provide this um, identification. This, um, photographic identification. What, you are. what happened? They have to provide you for the identification. So at the moment, your this vehicle It's It's an autom automobile, yeah, it's a private automobile. And here come the word games. I wish I had my uh, soft-tard uh, bingo cards. Uh, I really should order those. But anyway, uh, it really doesn't matter how you define it at all. It, it could be your vessel. It could be your land canoe. It could be whatever the hell you want. But in the eyes of the law, if it has an engine, four wheels, and steering wheel, it is a motor vehicle. And therefore, you have to uh, pay your registration for your tags and everything like that. Nobody is exempt from that. And um, the person who you provided... Uh, it's not a person, yeah, tell me. So, the uh, documentation you provide us has a name on it. The name that is linked to that has a suspended driver's license. You, you don't need a driver's license to travel with your automobile. Yes, we do. You, you need a driver's license if you make money for what you're doing, if it's for commerce. If you know the, the meaning of the word, is this what yes. you say? And there goes the mandatory soft tard implicit reference to Black Law's dictionary. Dude, get some better material because you know what? It is a dictionary. It is not the law. In fact, if you probably want to know the law, I would suggest going down to your local law library or whatever you have in your area and uh, study up on it so you don't get continuously pulled over like this. And finally, um, the officers have provided you to, 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 required you to submit to a, an outcome test. Yeah, I didn't refuse. You, just, you didn't refuse? No, I didn't refuse. What because it's a performance, I have to get a fee for the performance. It's not free to do something that you're asking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? So you're not allowed to put conditions on that test? Who said that? You don't have... The law says that. The law? Yes. The law says you don't have to put conditions of what? Yeah. Which well, law? The Road Traffic Act and... It's not a law. A number of judges... It's not a law. Yeah, it's not right. a law. You know, the law, it's voted... Yeah, statutes aren't laws, okay, whatever, dude. Uh, you've fallen so far down the soft, tarred rabbit hole, there's really no escape. And, of course, he had to bring up his fee schedule. I mean, that's just standard uh, sovereign citizen fare. The kinds of things, well, uh, you know the kind of people that use those things in this kind of situation. You know. Morons. <laughs> 
explain to you what's going to happen now. No, no, no. I will tell you that the law that you're saying is not a law. It's not for from the people. People didn't vote for this. It's not a referendum. It's just from the government. You can put whatever you want in the in the status, you know? Yeah. Oh, come on now. Go out and take some civics classes and understand how your government works. The Australian government is basically a representative democracy where the people elect representatives to create laws that you have to follow. So the argument that the people didn't want this is pretty much uh, not valid considering they elected the representatives to create these laws to begin with. So what is going to happen if you don't comply with my directions? I do not comply. I do not comply with whatever you want because you don't... going to be arrested. What's the crime to be arrested? By, so there's going to be driving an unregistered vehicle. It's not a crime. Where's the victim? Where's the victim, please? And Where's the victim? Where's the victim? Right. And I didn't refuse. I didn't refuse. I'm telling you. Plan to provide identification. Where's what, what's what's the crime to provide you identification? Because only if I made. The implications of I don't crime. stand under you. I don't stand under you, and never will stand under you. Oh boy! First of all, we have the no victim, no crime argument fallacy. Well, there doesn't need to be a victim in a traffic stop to begin with. It is just a traffic infraction, albeit a very minor law to break in comparison with others, of course. And then there is the uh, misunderstanding of the word understand or the deliberate misuse of it by the sovereign citizen. I understand the officer asked, was asking you if you comprehend. That doesn't mean he's standing over you in his own version of dominating you. Do you understand that? Or are you not comprehending anything coming out of anybody's mouth because you are so poorly educated as a result of all the brain damage incurred by all the uh, lead paint that you've been consuming over the years. Can I please have my paperwork back also? Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. What's he... If you don't open the door... No, 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 no. It's a private property. If he, break, if, he, if he breaks the window... The no, 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 no. Excuse me. Don't break the window. No, no, no. What's the reason you want me to arrest? What's the crime? It's not a crime. I'm telling you again, it's not a crime. If you have, if you try to break or damage any of my private property, you're playing a very idiotic game here, dude. Are you sure you're willing to see it all the way through? Because you might not like the outcome of it. Do you you have exactly what I gave you in the notice to the commis to the police uh, commission that you've got in South Australia. Aris, if you do not provide your identification and open the door, you've got my notice. That's not identification. Photographic you... driver's license. No, no, no. I'm not using driver's license because I'm don't do it for commerce. I'm telling you again. I'm don't get paid I'm to have a driver's license. Warning, if you don't, the sergeant is going to break the window and you will be placed under arrest. What's the crime? I'm telling you again. Here is a photo identification, okay? I don't need a driver license. I don't do it for commerce. Okay, clearly these games that he's playing are not working in his favor, so he's going to switch tactics here momentarily. He's going to present a sovereign citizen ID card, but they will not accept it because they know what they're looking for. Here is a photo identification. No, no, here it is. You don't have... No, 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 no. Give, give me also the other things that you've got. No, I, I hear... You can see it. You can see it. Here, here, here. You can see it. Okay? Here. Doesn't matter what's official for you. No, it is not. It's not official for you. You are going to be placed under arrest. What's the crime? I'm telling you. You will die. Will damage my private property. You are armed. You are armed. What can I say? 
Well, the way I see it, you can either uh, man up and accept what happened, accept that you uh, went down the wrong road and uh, step out of the vehicle and accept the responsibility for your actions, or B, you can uh, take the uh, option where you play the victim, which is the common soft-hard uh, mentality to play the uh, persecuted victim complex, which is what I suspect that you are about to do. You are with guns and you're trying to do whatever you want to do, not what is lawful. Why don't you write a fine? Huh? But why don't you why don't you write a fine? Well I can't because I don't know who you are. But you've got my details there. No, you know? No, you've no, got no, my no, details. Evidence of who you are. I'll show you. Here it is. You're also committing multiple offences, so it's more. No, I, I don't commit an, a, any offence of, of of the law. Dude, you're flip-flopping all over the place. You just asked her to write out the ticket, and now you're saying you didn't do anything wrong. Make up your damn mind. But, of course, these police officers are done with you, so let's get on with the show. I'm not going to talk to you about that anymore. I've already explained it all to you multiple times. I, I explained you, too. I, I explained you, too, also. Okay. Uh, Windows. Excuse me. A real ID, or are you coming with us? I don't have real ID. I'll show you the real ID. Don't I? Excuse me. You had your chance, dude, and now it's time to pay the piper. What's your name again? Foster. Foster, and your ID 4677. Yep. Okay. Hold that. Now you're under arrest. Why? What's a crime? What's a crime? What's the crime? Uh, you think so? What's the crime? You're under arrest. What's the crime? Come on, out of the vehicle. Let's go. Excuse me. And well, that's the end of that video. Uh, he was taken down to the uh, police station and charged with all the usual sovereign citizen nonsense. And his uh, his pay schedule was even uh, photocopied, and I'm sure it was passed around the office uh, just as one big joke. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.